Hey guys, welcome into my channel. So this morning we are heading to the flea market. This is Roots Flea Market. I have learned to say that. When I first moved to Lancaster, I was saying Roots. Now you say Roots. <laughs> Country talk. All right, so we're going flea marketing today. I do love this flea market. I try to keep the camera down because this place gets crowded. It is popular. So hit the like and subscribe button. I'm taking you flea marketing with me. Okay, so this is Roots Flea Market out in, out in the country. We're gonna see what we can find. This is a vendor that I love. What in the world is this? It's a bird bath. <gasps> Carved from a tree trunk. Well, is that not gorgeous? Okay, lots of unique items. I think I see a Roseville over there. Okay, and somehow I only have $60 cash with me, so I'm gonna either have to go to the ATM or, uh, or bargain a lot. <laughs> oh, how sweet is this? Joy and Jake have their own little tags. Okay, that is really cute. Look at that color. It's like a pistachio color. Mm, feel like I've sold these before. I think mine were restoration hardware and they sold super quick. I do love this jug for myself. Look at this thing. Oh, it's got a big crack. Darn. I like, I'm liking primitive stuff more and more. Maybe because I'm becoming primitive. <laughs> I'm becoming vintage. That's a cute little rattan table. That is super sweet. Okay, it needs a little bit of recaning on the bottom. Okay, so the vendor that's over here with all of the paintings, I usually like his stuff. I've forgotten his name. He's an older gentleman that I've purchased from before, and we're gonna see what he has. That's a pretty painting. Lots of crazing going on. Milk white candlesticks. What does he want for these? Kind of pretty, hand painted. Eight dollars for the pair. Oh, those are really sweet. Hmm. Milk white. Okay, don't know much about those. I'm gonna give that thought. And this little bowl is pretty. Reverse painted, so it's painted on the back and you can see it through the glass. Three dollars. Oh, there's a little carved wood bird here. That's hand carved, I think. A dollar. I love a good flea market. Okay, lots of noises in the background. Roosters and trains and trucks. This is what? Spaghetti bowl. So pretty, iridescent, beautiful. Okay, I don't remember this vendor. Oh, all paintings. Okay, if you guys remember, I'm on the hunt for a painting for my own house, and I want it to be of the Great Plains. Very, very enamored with the Great Plains lately. I don't know what that's about. Look at this, composite American. Beautiful, seed beading. In the middle, it looks like it might be a piece from something else, maybe a handbag, and they've turned it into this mixed media. Are you hiding yourself? Beautiful. <laughs> Hello, good morning, how are you? This is gorgeous. Isn't that? That is so pretty. I'll give it to you for 50 bucks. Wow, I'm gonna give that thought. What is this, a handbag inside? Like a piece of a handbag that they did I this? I have no idea. Yeah, it looks like they did a mixed media. That is something. Isn't it? Yeah, that is very it's pretty. Probably that piece goes right there. Could be, yeah. It's kind of like scrap art, not tramp yeah. art, but <laughs> like they really did a mix. Beautiful. Really pretty. It, it sure is. Oh, how have you been? Ah, uh, been here. Yeah. Have you been here through the winter? No, yes, right? Yes, you have yes. been. Yeah, I have been wow. coming in my car. This really? one doesn't have heat. 
Oh my goodness, that's crazy! So, wow. Coming in the car and staying in the car. Yeah. And how's yeah. your business? Good. 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 Yeah. Good, good, yeah. Good, good, Thank good. you so much. Good. 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 I always good. love to see what you have. Gorgeous. Just everything is beautiful. These are great. All that made by one guy. Really. In 30 years time. This is all hand done. Yeah, it's all hand done. Wow. Then he glued some of them and then he painted over them. I don't know why he wanted to paint it. Huh. These, these are the same thing, this. but yeah. then he painted over them. I like it without the painting, I yes, think. Yes, yes, yes. Anything if you want, you know, I'll give you a good deal on that. Okay. I had a whole bunch. Really? Yes. And what do people do with them? Some people use it for Dolph uh, furniture. Oh, you know? how interesting. And the, that would make a gorgeous dollhouse rug. Yeah. Wow. Wow, they're beautiful. I can't believe he did all of that by hand. How? Yes. What is it? It's needlepoint? Needlepoint. They're all needlepoint. And then there is one little bigger, like a rug. Wow. Oh, I see. Yeah, I had a whole bunch of them. I sold quite a bit. Really? Yes. I guess, the, you know, I got it as a collection. I know nothing about this, which is not uncommon. I know nothing <laughs> about a lot of stuff. We all learn everything. Yes. Day. Oh, isn't that the truth? Boy, these are beautiful. Isn't it? All right, I'm going to need more cash. That's obvious. Okay, so this is Ollie's stuff. I have bought... Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you two items that okay. are very valuable. Okay. These are cloisonne on porcelain. Oh. Japanese, Meiji period, very early 20th century or late 19th century. This feels heavy for porcelain to me. But Feel it is porcelain. It is. It is porcelain. How do you see. know that? See, you can tell right there. It's porcelain. But yeah, I don't see, know the tap test for it. I normally tap to listen to the sound, but well, I don't know the tap yeah, test for the porcelain. The thing is, uh, cloisonne is made yeah. on metal. Yeah, it's okay. enamel, right? Yes, yes, enamel. Yes. But the, the firing is different temperature for cloisonne and Oh, porcelain. I see the wire. So this is very rare. Wow. I mean, I have been buying and selling uh, cloisonne yeah. for 25, well, 40 years, actually. And uh, I have seen only 10 pieces like this. Wow. Now, that's regular cloisonne. Regular, yeah. Yeah, yep. on metal. And that's regular. But this is on porcelain. Very wow. rare. Because it breaks. Yes, yes. Very I see what you're saying. Yeah, because the regular cloisonne is the wire yeah, yeah. on enamel paint yes, over metal, yes. over brass usually, yes, right? Yes, Brass, copper, okay. uh, silver, okay. and I have seen only one on gold. It's all lovely. Yeah. Lovely. But those are, you know, you can find them. They're it. special. Yeah, yes. yeah. And if you want anything... You know, we'll talk price. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you. This is lovely That's too. Japanese. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It's hard to move, but boy, is it pretty. <laughs> I love talking to the different vendors who have great knowledge. Holly's knowledge is always wonderful. Okay, definitely going to need more money today. And the vendors are out. I love it. I was wondering, because it is a little bit chilly. It's supposed to warm up to 55. So I am going to scoot through the different vendor spots and see what I can find. Oh, I love this little hat here. Look at this hat. What part of Brazil? Because I was in... Oh, that's sweet. It's a little tag that says 23. And the label seems to be missing, so I don't know who that is. $5. I'm going to give that thought. I might take that. Everybody had tall fences around their house. Okay, wood bowl. Like a we like the wood bowl. We always like the wood bowl. Carved from one piece of wood. I think this is lathe turned because the hole on the bottom shows it was put on a lathe. That is spelt, I think. Am I seeing a price? What are you asking for your bowl? That's really nice. I'm going to take that, I think. 
Get on that. <laughs> what was that? Like, Get on that. <laughs> we love a good turned ball. <laughs> okay, what else do I see? All right, we're gonna take the bowl. Look how beautiful that is. I do find a lot of this art very interesting and very scary. <laughs> oh, brass, very lovely. Okay, lots of vendors still setting up. Boy, it is chilly. My hands are frozen. I thought it was gonna be a little bit warmer, but it is only like 8.15 in the morning. I like getting here early, beating the crowds. Oh, I see a beautiful eagle over there. Gonna zone in on the eagle. Seems to be carved. Oh, this is gorgeous. Looks to be carved from one piece of wood. That is gonna be high. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Huh. His beak seems to be in good condition. I'm gonna guess that they want about 45 for that, if not higher. It's a little bare. That's plastic. All right, I'm not sure who this booth belongs to. Got some jewelry here. Oh, look at this cuff bracelet. That is quite interesting. What do they want for that? $6, PKC, it's a bangle. I don't know if it originally had a stone in the middle. It seems like it might have, but I don't even mind it like that. Huh, unmarked, that I can tell. Okay, I kind of like that bracelet. I might take that too. We're gonna see how much the eagle is. All right, so we're gonna do 20 on the two. Thank you so much, the bracelet and the eagle. Thank you. You know what, I'm gonna put the bracelet in the bag. I thought that was a really good deal. He wanted 15 for the eagle and six for the bracelet and I offered him 20 for the two. Oh, we know baskets are becoming my addiction. Anything on that end of that table is a dollar over Really? Yep. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, he just told me it's a dollar. How do you pass that up? Okay, so anything here is a dollar. What is this? down here, this beautiful box, probably just an empty box. Boy, that's an old one. And what is this piece? Somebody arts, Zygist arts. Huh, that's very interesting. That's a little coins and thimbles. It's a little metal donkey from California. That's sweet. Okay, I'm gonna discipline myself and not buy every basket I see, which is gonna be tough. <laughs> he said $3 for everything on a table. I'm not sure what table it is, probably that table I just passed. Oh, I do see a brass squirrel. Let's take a look at the brass squirrel price. He's a bookend, 150 cast iron. Oh, he's a doorstop, I should know that. Lots of interesting stuff today. I love when it's true vintage. Lots of cool things. Things I've never seen before. Oh, I think these are black walnuts from somebody's tree. That is very cool. Oh, there's a little fan in here. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Is it in good shape? No, unfortunately it has damage to it. Oh, here's one of our baskets. Love these baskets. Looks like it's three dollars. I just picked up one of these in the reuse it shop. I don't see that this one is signed, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab that for three dollars. Oh, a wood bowl. <laughs> no, I'm not saying we should pick up every wood bowl we see, but <laughs> how can we not? Oh, this one's got a crack. Darn. Is it a crack? Might be ten dollars. Yeah, it's got a crack through it. Oh, okay. I'm sure there's plenty more wood bowls out there. Oh, these pieces are beautiful. Look at that old wood frame. 
Quite pretty. I'm gonna put my basket down. I don't know what that's made out of. Looks like a sand of some sort, colored sand. Ocean, something gallery, Carmel Plaza from California. Very cool, I have never seen that before. I kind of like that. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. Well, this is really interesting. This is a banker's lamp. I have never seen it in this bisque color. It's a plastic shade. I wonder if that's been replaced or it's not as old as I think. Usually we see this in green, sometimes in white milk glass. I have never seen that color like a beige. Oh, peacock. Oh, this pot is kind of sweet. Five dollars. What does that say? Segundo Carmen something, something, something. Fifty-five. Beautiful. I also like the tile underneath it. This tile is gorgeous. Okay, right away I recognize this print as Pottery Barn. Look at that, gorgeous, with a bird on it, embroidered. Dad and Mom, loving those. Green velvet on the back. I don't know what year this is from, but these are great. Two dollars for the pair. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop those up. Okay, so this is just rock art. Look how cute that is. Three dollars. He's adorable. Oh my goodness, three dollars. Not even quite sure what he is. I thought he was a ladybug. Is he a ladybug? Almost looks like a grasshopper ladybug. <laughs> now this plate is very pretty with the pine cones on it, three dollars. Let me put my packages down so I can take a better look. Hopefully I don't break anything. Hello. Let's see who this, who this maker is. I have no idea. That is so pretty. Hmm, I'm gonna give that a thought. What else do we see? Let's take a look at him. Oh my goodness. How did they even do that? Look at that, with little jewel eyes. Three dollars. Okay, what else do we want? Oh, this ashtray is beautiful. Look at the green on that. I like that too. Okay, I think I'm going to get definitely the little ladybug rock art. Pet rock? We'll call him a pet rock. So cute. We're going to take that. And what else do we see? I do. Yes. Thank you. Adorable. Adorable. I didn't know I needed a rock in my life. <laughs> Look at this basket, guys. Okay, I just said I'm not buying baskets, didn't I? Oh, that's really sweet. Is there any chance you would do 10 for the two if I take the basket? The rock was three. Thank you. I'll take that too. Adorable. I'm very into baskets lately. All right, and I'm sure you guys are all yelling at me because it's not my handbag this time, it's my bags. <laughs> Make a little pile. All right, I think we're going with those two pieces for $10. Okay, guys, so we are at Roots Old Mill Flea Market. This is the artisan mill. So I've stepped inside this gorgeous old barn and come across this artist, Warren Tracy Davis. Now you guys know me, most of the times I'm picking up items for resale, but I did have to stop and show you this gorgeous gallery. I'm gonna take you around to show you this man's work. This is Warren's work and it is just stunning. Stopped me in my tracks. This is all hand done. This is acrylic and I am just I am just amazed. 
It's amazing when in the regular walk of life you come across something that is just so beautiful. This man is so talented. Look at the face. Warren has been wonderful to talk to and he is in this artisan mill in Roots Flea Market if you want to come and visit him and look at his work. Stunning. I do not have an artistic bone in my body, but I can appreciate beautiful art. I call these mood paintings. You guys know me. I love a good painting where it evokes mood. So he does sketches and also acrylic. I don't know if it's acrylic on board. I'm going to ask him, hey, Warren, is yeah. this acrylic on board or is it acrylic yes, on, on canvas? Panel, just like on panel. Acrylic on panel. Oops. Just amazing. So if you guys want to check out more of Warren's work he is being highly recognized in our area and i'm sure we're gonna we're gonna see him become famous just stunning you guys would want to take a look all right let's get back to the regular part of the video okay so i'm just going to do a quick trunk haul of the few items that i found this morning not quite as many vendors because it is chilly out but the season has started officially this item i think this is spalted wood i don't know if i'm saying that correctly i always forget how to pronounce that i think spalted wood is where a fungi grows in the wood and creates this beautiful lined pattern i love this bowl this will be a hard one not to keep five dollars it is a turned bowl you can tell by the hole in the bottom when it's put on the lathe and just gorgeous i'm probably going to keep that this basket is phenomenal I love it. Very finely done. Oh, another thing I bought inside. She wanted $8 for the basket. And along with this little piece, for $3, I offered her 10 for the two and she took them. How adorable is he? <laughs> Next up, I found this bracelet. I don't know what this is worth. And it could be, yep, seems a little bit of glue residue in the middle. Might have had a stone, but they only wanted, what did she want for this? Six dollars. I got it for five because I coupled it with something. Okay, if I remember correctly, I got the bracelet along with this gorgeous carved eagle. And this is what it looks like. I'm not seeing a signature anywhere. But this is just beautiful. Real wood. I also picked up this curly willow basket. And what did they want for it? Two dollars. But she gave it to me for a dollar because it was supposed to have some kind of contents in it. Kind of glad it didn't have contents. Here is a little kitty cat pitcher or creamer rather. And I forget who makes these. I do see writing on the bottom. I'm going to have to look it up. I don't know that this is especially valuable, but do we love a good cat? Yes, we do. <laughs> Another handmade basket. I picked one up similarly the other day. I paid $3 for this. And like I said, some of these things were grouped together and I always ask for a little bit of a less price if I'm buying multiples. And this was the find of the day. Pottery Barn Christmas stockings. I'm gonna have to find out what year these were from. I knew right away this was Pottery Barn because I shop at Pottery Barn a lot. Very familiar with Pottery Barn's label. And let me see if I can show this to you. Here it is here. I love this print, so pretty. And because it had mom and dad, I felt like it was safe. Now if it had somebody's names and you had to wait for the person with that name, I might have picked it up because I only paid a dollar each, but, um, but mom and dad is so much better. All right, so those are the few items I picked up. I also met that wonderful artist, Warren, who is very interesting to talk to and so talented. So if you're in the area of Roots Market and you want to visit any of these booths or vendor spots and you want to meet Warren the artist, I'm sure he would love to meet you. By now, we all know that sign. <laughs> I was passing by. 
I always have to go in. No matter how many Goodwills I go to in a day. All right, let's grab a cart and see what we can find today. Okay, color of the week is yellow. So that is the tag we're gonna be looking for. Yellow is 50% off and then on, oh, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, $2 each. Well, that's good. Oh, what are these? Jets, how much is this? $9.99, hmm, wonder if Roger would want those. Here's a yellow tag. Let's see what they're charging, $5.99 for a t-shirt. I don't know what that means, Ignite. I think that's just a promotional tee. All right, so there are some yellow tags, but I don't feel like looking at clothing today. I just picked up a huge lot of clothing. We're gonna be looking for hard goods. Oh, I see a little Scotty dog. A couple of Scotty dogs. These are Scotty dogs, right guys? Oh, he's heavy. Oh, he's a bookend. Oh, he's kind of cute. He's got a little chipping going on. It's a terrier. He's a bookend. $1.99, where's the other one? Let's put him in the cart and think about him. I think his ears are good. It's usually the ears that are chipped. He kind of looks sad, poor little dog. Get in the cart, doggy. Okay, and I saw that other dog. Is he heavy? He's just a resin. $1.99. Okay, so prices are good so far. The first two items. Picture frames. Always lots of picture frames. What is this? Is that plastic? Oh, it's painted like that. It almost looked like a little bit of a stone situation going on. Lots of artwork on the walls. I look for hand-painted, artist-done pieces rather than prints. Not that I never pick up a print. I do. All right, how did I wind up on the toys aisle? Roger's not even with me. We always wind up on the toys aisle when he's around. Sit long, talk much. That's cute. It's a wooden sign. Ooh, this mirror is gorgeous. Unfortunately, lots of, lots of chipping and cracking, but that's an older one. All right, I'm looking at artwork. Big pieces. All right, let's find some small pieces to look at. Craft situation on these shelves. So all crafting supplies on that side. Here are some knobs. Were these here last time I came here? I haven't been in this store in a couple of months. $2.99. They have like a white enameled thing going on. For $2.99, I might take them though. You know what? I'm gonna take these because I could probably flip them for $19.99 and they are brass. So I'm gonna put those in the cart. Somehow we have wound up on the basket aisle. Okay, I have sold these baskets. This is kind of a nice one. I think it's called the buttocks basket. $6.99 with the eye of God design. The handle makes this much bigger for shipping than if the handle folded down. All right, what else do we see? Oh, I see a basket here. That would be wonderful if there were more inside. Oh, it's a single. $1.99. Still pretty. Let's see what this looks like inside. If I can do this with one hand. Just having a hard time. All right. Hmm, not really feeling this one. It's okay. I think I'm going to leave that one. Now, if there were like two or three more inside, I'd probably grab that. Like I always say, I love a good nesting basket situation. It's kind of like nesting bowls in the kitchen. You know, people look for them. All right, so this is what the tchotchke aisle is looking like. I just named it that. I don't think Goodwill calls it a tchotchke aisle. Not really anything of note. And here's a little painted piece, a little sun catcher. Let's see if I can hang this. Kind of pretty. It's not real stained glass. $1.99. Oh, what are these? Okay, $7.99 each originally. Kind of look like bowling pins. <laughs> oh, is this Avon? There's so much of this. Yep, it's Avon candlesticks. 
I should discipline myself and look them up, but I feel like these are so plentiful that it's almost not worth looking them up. Okay, so I did grab this hat. I couldn't film finding it because a worker was putting hats away. Look at the feathers. Very fun. $1.99. So it is a wool uh, woman's hat. And I also grabbed this hat, which I love. And this is yellow tab, $2 Tuesday. So this will also be $2. And this is Speen Bridge Woolen Mill Scotland. Pure wool. Nice condition. I always make sure the band is clean. No big sweat stains or anything like that. And coming down the shoe aisle, I see these shoes. Now they are $14.99 and I will probably, is today, oh today's not Senior Citizen Day. Um, this is Allegria. I'm probably saying that wrong. $15. I think these would do $30 to $35. So I'm going to put these in the cart, actually. I know, shocker. But there aren't even toe marks on them or any kind of dirt. So look to be in new condition. I'm going to go ahead and grab those. So this is what I've found so far. And I think because I haven't found a lot, I'm going to start on the yellow tag because all yellow tag is $2. So I found these sandals. They're marked $20, which is way overpriced. But now, because they've overpriced them, they will be caught up in the $2 sale. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in the cart. So that's what we're gonna be looking for is the yellow tag. I'm gonna do clothing, shoes, handbags, pretty much anything with yellow tag. It's unfortunate that these sandals are now $17.99. I probably would have taken those at 15, but hopefully these will get caught up in the $2 black tag sale. That would be good. All right, so I'm gonna go through yellow tag and see what I can find. Like, look at these shoes. $19.99. Definitely not worth it. Who is this? Coach and something. I'm sure they thought it was Coach. But for $2, they're in nice condition. I'm going to go ahead and take those. So because of their high pricing strategy, you know, I think it works out better for me if I can catch this stuff at $2. All right, I'm going to go through Yellow Tag and I will show you what I find. All right, so I've gone through all the Yellow Tag items and really didn't find too much else. I did find this hat along the way. This is a Thin Slate um, men's cap, Mercury American made in USA. I'm not sure what this is going to bring, but it's super clean. And I think I'm paying $1.99 for it prices somewhere so I'm gonna take that I did find a few leather belts you guys know me I love a good leather belt $1.99 each and I am gonna go with these yellow tag shoes because they will be two dollars main raisin made in Italy so I think that's it up oh, got some McDonald's toys and I think they're $2.99 a bag all packaged these are the Happy Meal toys and usually I just open them up, spread them out, take a few pictures and sell the lot the way it is. I'll probably sell these for, I don't know, $15 or $19.99, something like that. Very easy to list. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.